wildfires in Texas, a hurricane that ravaged the East Coast and now flooding in West Alabama and in other parts of the country. Disasters are happening everywhere, it seems, stretching manpower and resources to the limit. Jim Homestead's here from FEMA to tell us about how recovery efforts are going in West Alabama and being prepared for a disaster. Thanks for being with us today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. So tell, give us an update. First of all, West Alabama, um, you know, has, has dealt with some tragedy. What is, is FEMA doing anything in Tuscaloosa, West Alabama right now? And if so, what? Well, very much so. Uh, we are still, uh, we've moved from response to recovery, and now we're actually in uh, long-term recovery. So we're very active uh, in the long-term recovery program with uh, a number of communities throughout the state. And in this capacity, FEMA uh, helps advise those com uh, communities on how to plan for uh, long-term recovery, rebuilding and rebuilding even stronger than ever before. Now tell us how Irene and Texas wildfires and other natural disasters has impacted FEMA. Well, in terms of funding, uh, what has been impacted are the long-term uh, projects, the permanent work, uh, um, as we call it. But in terms of uh, assistance for individuals, uh, rental assistance and uh, those sorts of items, uh, Alabamians do not have to worry about that. That funding continues to flow and it will flow. Uh, there has been uh, a, a, a delay, if you will. Uh, FEMA was not comfortable with the uh, amount of money in its disaster relief fund. It dipped below $1 billion, and uh, when that uh, occurs, uh, immediate needs funding is uh, implemented, which means you only pay for the uh, important things uh, upfront, individual assistance for individuals, and also in terms of communities, uh, debris removal and emergency procedures, that sort of thing. But the long-term uh, uh, projects are impacted. How long will FEMA stay in West Alabama to help with tornado recovery efforts? The short answer to that is uh, we will stay here until the job is done, essentially. Uh, now, uh, if you ask me the question, uh, do we have less staff than we had here uh, four months ago? The answer, of course, is yes. Uh, in a normal disaster cycle, uh, when uh, projects or programs shut down uh, and it's uh, economically prudent to do so, uh, people are demobilized in, in, in that respect. But uh, we'll be here uh, to help Alabamians, and I want to make sure that everybody <laughs> understands that, that, that we're here to uh, help people in their recovery and the communities statewide. What are some tips you have for our viewers to stay safe during um during natural disasters? Well, uh, of course, uh, this is National uh, Preparedness Month, has uh, decreed by President Obama. Uh, so probably the most important thing right now is to make sure that you have a disaster kit uh, and a disaster strategy in place and that you stay informed. Those are the three uh, key elements uh, in the program. There's an excellent website that everybody can visit. It's www.ready.gov, R-E-A-D-Y, ready.gov, and that will give you tips on what you have to do. You really have to worry about the first 72 hours. Uh, you want to make sure that you have enough water and non-perishable food and other items to see your family through. And obviously, I guess it's different for each disaster depending on what you're dealing with and how you prepare, correct? It is, but, uh, you, you know, no matter what the uh, calendar says, uh, preparedness is always a very relevant topic. And we have seen it uh, this past spring. We have seen it uh, just in the past few weeks with uh, uh, Irene and the uh, tropical storm, uh, tr uh, tropical depression over the weekend. Uh, these events, oftentimes, even though the word tropical is used, uh, once the, they move inland, we've seen what kind of flooding uh, they can cause. Uh, people in Vermont were, were, were trapped. Again, that 72-hour period, make sure you've got enough water uh, and non-perishable food and other items, flashlight, batteries, all, the, all those items to uh, see you through that period. Wonderful. Well, we appreciate you being with us today. Thank you so much. Okay, you're welcome. You can find more about being ready for a disaster by calling 1-800-BE-READY or by visiting ready.gov. You can find more about FEMA online at FEMA.gov.